Hey guys, Thunder E here, and I am using the Xiaomi 12 Pro and the Galaxy S22 Ultra from facing camera for this video. You know the drill, guys. We're really looking at, of course, the audio between them. Now, just to let you know, the Xiaomi records at 1080p 60 max, so that's 1080p 60, while the Galaxy is recording at 4K 60. Now, this video will go through a couple of things. We'll check out some gaming, of course. We'll check out photos, as well as also, uh, we'll check out the speakers on these devices and see how they stack up. So anyway, let's go ahead and start the video. Okay, that was quite interesting with the front-facing cameras from both devices, where the Xiaomi stabilization looked to be having some issues there. Uh, I tried it a couple of times, but that is actually what I got. So hopefully that can be fixed. But welcome guys to another battle vid. As you know, it's between the Xiaomi 12 Pro and the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Something we have noticed with Xiaomi of the years is that they constantly cap their front facing cameras with recording resolutions at 1080p 60 frames per second, even though I'm sure it can do more because the processor itself, which is the Snapdragon 8, which is in both devices, I do have the Snapdragon version of the Galaxy S22 Ultra, can do 4K60 with the front-facing camera. But that being said, let's take a look, closer look at the uh, Challenger in this battle vid, which of course is the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Love the design here. You can see the camera housing at the back. It's got that kind of like rectangular block shape that's raised. Got a triple camera setup, 50-50-50 all the way through. And I like this kind of gray charcoal finish to the back, really smooth, uh, very light on fingerprints. So it's got that frosted back look to it. Power buttons on the side. Uh, you've also got the uh, volume rocker on the same side. And when you flip it around, you do have a lovely 6.7 inch display, LTPO display, 120 Hertz, uh, similar to the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Plus, uh, you can also customize it and actually go stay at either 60, 90 or 120 or you can have it um, do it automatically for you, whichever way you choose. So this device has a very nice compact feel to it. You've got an in-display fingerprint sensor, dual speakers. So what's the first thing we should check out? Now, I just mentioned dual speakers. Let's take a listen to the speakers because both of them have Dolby Atmos included. So that should give us some really good indication of how sound works. And uh, you know what? Let's listen. When it comes to the speakers, I think the S22 Ultra has the louder profile and probably I also think the clearer profile, but that's just me. I wanna know your thoughts on that. Who do you think is actually better here with the audio profile. So, okay, we know that. What about charging, power, battery, all that fun stuff? Now, the S22 Ultra comes with a 5,000 milliamp battery. The uh, Xiaomi 12 Pro comes with a uh, 4,600 milliamp battery. So of course, there's difference in battery size. In terms of battery life, I will give it to the S22 Ultra, but the Xiaomi 12 Pro is not far behind. I didn't actually do a full battery test. I've just been using the devices. Uh, but when it comes to charging, that's where the big kicker is. Now, Samsung upgraded the charging on the S22 Ultra to 45 watts, and it was great. And Xiaomi said, nah, 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 nah. Hold my beer. They offer a 120 watt charging solution. And yes, they also supply that in the box for you. So you don't have to buy this separately. With this, this will charge your device from zero to 100 in 18 minutes. At the same amount of time, your Galaxy is probably getting to around 20 to 30%. So it's a long way going for the Galaxy to actually get to the battery life that you're looking for. But that's just showing the difference here. Now, Xiaomi also has a faster wireless charging uh, solution at 50 watts compared to, I believe, the 15 to 20 watt range on the S22 Ultra. So in terms of charging, Xiaomi definitely wins that one off the mark. Now, from this point though, there are a couple of things we want to take a look at, which are the cameras. We do know that they all have new camera systems on these devices. The Galaxy S22 Ultra has the quad camera setup. Uh, you've got the periscopic zoom, telephoto, and then Xiaomi has the triple 50 camera array right here. And uh, you know what, before we even get into any of those details, 
let us take a look at some of the imagery from the cameras because there's more than meets the eye by than just megapixels 108 versus 50 megapixels periscopic versus not periscopic so let's take a closer look so taking a look at video from both devices 4k 60 uh from the rear camera from the galaxy s22 ultra on the right and the Xiaomi 12 pro on the left galaxy has a little bit better stabilization for ic but the image quality does look good for both devices now we're going to head over to images now this is from the front facing camera you can see that there is of course less whitening of my skin on the galaxy compared to uh, the xiaomi and also the background is more visible on the galaxy here the shot and my skin tone is maintained on the galaxy with this front facing uh um selfie the portrait mode also is similar you can see the galaxy just does a better job overall especially with the sunlight creeping in and balancing out with hdr now this image here is pretty much similar you can see how the light affects the color of the roses both of them are quite similar same effect and looking at the bird scooter here you can see again this also does a good job so in plain sunlight in it, mo both of them do the same kind of quality in terms of images now this is a regular shot of the building you can see there's just more uh, colorization of the sky blue with the galaxy compared to that of the Xiaomi this is an ultra wide shot where you can see the sun more prevalent stands out more there's more lighting towards the side of building on the Xiaomi and when we move to a 2x and 3x zoom you can see the differences here 3x of the galaxy looks really really sharp here uh, compared to actually 2x on the Xiaomi 12 Pro and then we move to a 10x just to show you what the 10x will look like 10x is digital on the Xiaomi and you can see on the Galaxy it just looks really sharp and clear with that uh, periscopic zoom so um, on that point that is pretty interesting now when we move to nighttime video here you can see stabilization is better on the galaxy itself over the xiaomi uh, but the image quality also is pretty good on the xiaomi this is 4k 60 with the rear camera giving you guys that look that you would um, expect to see although i would say when it comes to imagery though you're going to find some interesting uh, notions this is an ultra wide shot i think both look similar the galaxy does a better job with the lens flares here than the xiaomi um, and then when we move over to this image here you can see both buildings look pretty nice lens flares is, still, is definitely better on the galaxy but i think the overall image of the building looks solid i like the composition from both images are uh, pretty pretty solid now when we head over to this image here you can see the galaxy actually retains the best color within the lighting i do like what the Xiaomi has done here but the lens flares do pop up from those lights towards the left of the image so you're going to see more of that kind of creeping more and more now this is an interesting image here the the Xiaomi does a much better job of brightening the whole situation the galaxy keeps the color tone that you see and you can see more of me of my face but it's much lighter with the Xiaomi now the shot of the drinks here the Xiaomi does a good job in brightening the overall image and the drink compared to the Galaxy both visible but the brighter shot is the Xiaomi 12 Pro similar to this shot here again you can see how the Xiaomi really makes everything stand out the color tone is similar to the, the environment that's what the Galaxy is kept while the Xiaomi has gone and brightened up the images but both look good what is your preference here now we went to color factory and went out with my cousins and board fam and just capturing some of that image this is of course the front facing camera low light video 1080p 60 4k 60 for the galaxy um, and color factory is pretty cool uh if you're in new york city definitely go check it out but here you're going to see more of xiaomi brightening and galaxy trying to take the color lighting from the environment but the Xiaomi image looks really nice, look really vibrant. I kind of like the Xiaomi image here over the Galaxy uh, board fam taking photos in Color Factory. Now this shot though, with the multiple uh, balls, the color blue and the color is correct with the Galaxy, showcases more on the Galaxy image properly. And that's the proper color, but the brighter image comes from what Xiaomi delivers. Now this is just the last shot here, uh, low light video, different color schemes. Here you'll see where Xiaomi does do, does do a good job, but the Galaxy keeps the right color tone across the board, especially when you get to the blues where it's harder to pick images. You can see board frame looks more visible there. Let me know what you think. Leave those thoughts down below, guys, because this is very interesting, especially when you consider where the pricing for these devices are. And of course, finally, last but not the least, let's talk about gaming. That's what we really like and care about on this channel. And we took a quick look at some of the games that we definitely like. Started with Call of Duty Mobile, 
highest settings, it works well. And it runs, the Xiaomi uh, 12 Pro uh, will run that game at 60 frames per second. I couldn't use a game bench uh, to measure it, but I could use the internal benchmark tools. That's another thing that it does have a one-up against the Galaxy. Yes, you can download that separately, but it's already there on the device. Um, and it's a little bit more extensive where you can go ahead and um, uh, slow down overheating with some of the uh, software options that are there within the, um, uh, the, the game tools that are built into the Xiaomi 12 Pro. Now, when we move over to PUBG Mobile, PUBG Mobile, we branded both at Ultra HD Ultra, we got 40 frames per second there on the uh, the Xiaomi matching the Galaxy as well. And, and then we also did uh, Smooth Extreme, which ran at 60 frames per second, matching the Galaxy S22 Ultra as well. So we have similar gameplay there. Now, what about Genshin Impact? We know this game is not highly optimized, but we wanted to try that anyway. We played Genshin for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes or so. I would say probably closer to 25 minutes in Genshin Impact. And 25 minutes, we saw um, uh, FPS range of 42 frames uh, to, to around 46. That was the range we're getting. Again, this is not fully accurate because I didn't use Game Batch, but from the internal tools that was there. So which is similar to the Galaxy, I would say if we continue, we'll probably have stayed at that 42 or so. The terms of gameplay performance, it's very similar. Which of these devices do you think is better? We've seen imagery, we've looked at the stats and specs, looked at the wireless charging, all that fun stuff. And both devices have some very unique starting points. I do like what the Galaxy brings to the table overall, especially with the inclusion of the S Pen for the Ultra, which for me is something that I truly love and sets things apart for me. But the, uh, the Xiaomi 12 Pro brings a lot to the table. Granted, front-facing camera has that cap at 1080p, and that's something that a lot of people will find a little bit annoying. But I'm gonna leave this to you guys. What do you think? Which do you think is better, the Xiaomi 12 Pro or the Galaxy S22 Ultra? If you wanna find out more about the S22 Ultra, definitely check out my other videos on the channel on that, and stay tuned, because I'll be giving you my long-term look on the S22 Ultra and what I think about it. But I've got some really awesome videos coming up this week on the channel. Some of them will definitely surprise you, so stay tuned, and I'll catch you in the next one. Enjoy entertainment.